Discussing the iconic Rolex Datejust and its unique place in watch history, we compare it to the Omega Globemaster as a potential alternative. Covering aspects such as history, wearability, case specifications, designs, aesthetics, and movement, we delve into a side-by-side -side review. The Rolex Datejust, introduced in 1945, boasts a classic design with a 36mm case, rooted in the Oyster case and perpetual caliber innovations. Its enduring appeal lies in features like the Jubilee bracelet and fluted bezel. On the other hand, the Omega Globemaster with a 39mm case, reference 130.3039.2102.001, emerges as a worthy adversary. This comparison explores how these orological contenders measure up in various aspects, aiming to guide potential buyers in their choice. The Omega Globemaster, though lacking the historical significance of the Rolex Datejust, connects to Omega's Constellation line introduced in 1952. Over the years, it has undergone various design changes, from pie pan models in the 1950s and 60s to C case models in the 1970s and Manhattan style cases in the 1980s. The latest iteration, the Globemaster, unveiled in 2015, arose due to trademark conflicts with the term Constellation in the American market. Moving to wearability, we explore the specifications of both watches. The Omega Globemaster features a 39mm diameter case, 12.5mm thickness, 46.5mm lug to lug, and a straight lug design. The lug width is 20mm, with a sapphire crystal and 100m water resistance. On the Rolex Stages side, the 36mm case has a 12mm thickness, 44mm lug to lug, and 20mm lug width. It also includes a sapphire crystal, 100 meters water resistance, and the added security of a screw down crown. For this comparison, the 36mm Datejust model is chosen for its iconic design and proximity in size to the Globemaster. On the wrist, both watches strike a balance between dressy and casual, but the Rolex Datejust leans a bit dressier due to its thinner case and smaller diameter of 36mm. The Omega Globemaster, with its distinctive 39mm case and slightly thicker profile, sits on the border between dress and sports watches. Despite this, both are suitable for everyday wear, and the Datejust size feeling more like a 37-38mm watch offers a universal appeal. In the bracelet department, the Rolex features the classic Oyster bracelet with brushed outer links and polished center links, known for its breathability, comfort, and security. The Globemaster's bracelet complements the case, with a brushed finish, wider center link, and two smaller outer links. It has a lighter construction, enhancing comfort but may feel less sturdy than the Rolex. The Omega's clasp is a standard butterfly clasp with a dual button release, concealing the locking system compared to the more robust Oyster clasp on the Rolex. Aesthetically, the Omega bracelet is favored, but the Datejust offers the option of a Jubilee bracelet, considered the best pairing for its design. Despite these differences, both watches can look fantastic with various straps, showcasing versatile lug widths. Both watches feature a fluted bezel style, with the Omega Globemaster having a finer riveted style that is less pronounced than the Rolex Datejust. The Globemaster's crown pays homage to Omega's Constellation line, especially the CK case models from earlier years. Notably, the bezel on the Globemaster is crafted from tungsten, a material 10 times more durable than gold and surpassing ceramics on the Moss hardness scale. This makes it highly resistant to scratches, potentially outperforming Rolex's white gold bezel in terms of durability. The Datejust's white gold bezel is eye-catching, with deeply grooved rivets, creating a distinctive look and optimizing light reflection, making it a standout example in watchmaking. However, it may not offer the same level of scratch resistance as the Globemaster's tungsten bezel. Examining the final functionality aspect of the watches, the focus shifts to the crowns. The Rolex Datejust boasts a screw-down crown, providing additional points for security. The activation of the crown follows a traditional approach. Unscrew, pull to the first position to adjust the date, and to the outermost position for adjusting the hour and minute hands with a stop second hacking feature. On the other hand, the Omega Globemaster features a distinctive crown operation. When pulled to the farthest position, akin to hacking seconds, you can adjust the hour and minute. At the first position, uniquely, you can isolate the hour hand without changing the date. The utility of each approach depends on the wearer's preferences and needs. 
given that these watches are likely worn frequently, concerns about the power running out and frequent date adjustments may be minimal. The ability to isolate the hour hand, particularly useful for travelers without stopping the seconds or balance, adds a practical touch. While personal preferences play a role, this distinction highlights the watch's different approaches to crown functionality. Design In the design department, both watches excel. The Rolex Datejust features a familiar look with a silver rhodium dial, a traditional date window with a cyclops at 3, a railway minute track along the dial's perimeter, and a white gold Rolex crown. This variant's Roman numerals and lack of luminescence on the hands give it a dressier appeal, maintaining a timeless aesthetic. The Omega Globemaster, as a reinterpretation of the Constellation line, showcases its design tributes on the dial. Classified as silver by Omega, the matte style finish appears more white in many lighting conditions. The sloping pipe hand dial adds distinction, especially when compared to other watches in this price range. The applied Omega logo, stick markings filled with luminescence for the hours, and baton style hands contribute to the watch's versatility. A unique feature is the added star at 6 o'clock, serving as a final tribute to the past and enhancing the overall appeal of the dial. Movement In terms of movements, the Rolex Datejust houses the automatic 3135 caliber, a long-standing Rolex automatic movement with a 48-hour power reserve operating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. While the newer Datejust models feature a 70-hour power reserve, the 3135 is chosen for a closer comparison. The movement is COSE certified, tested after casing, and typical of Rolex remains concealed. On the other hand, the Omega Globemaster features an open case back revealing the observatory medallion, a symbol from the Constellation line marking Omega's wins at world chronometer compositions. The movement inside is the automatic caliber 8900, operating at 25,200 vibrations per hour, with a 60-hour power reserve and an SI14 silicon hairspring. The coaxial movement, based on Dr. George Daniels' design, separates the locking mechanism and impulse to the balance, reducing friction and minimizing the need for excessive lubrication. The movement is made as certified, surpassing COSE standards, and is resistant to 15,000 gauss. While both movements are robust and reliable, the open case back of the Globemaster allows appreciation of its movement and the mentioned benefits, making a compelling case for choosing it over the concealed Datejust. For the average wearer, the difference may not be significant, but the added features of the Globemaster bring additional value. In summary, both the Rolex Datejust and the Omega Globemaster have their strengths. The Datejust offers a classic, iconic design, extensive customization options, and strong retained value on the secondary market. The fluted bezel design is considered superior in optimizing light. On the other hand, the Globemaster provides a unique and differentiated option, with a storied history in the Constellation line and a distinctive pie pan dial layout. The Omega Coatial 8900 movement is considered superior in this comparison, and contemporary models may have a more favorable price point. Ultimately, the choice between these watches may come down to brand preference or considering your existing watch collection. If you lean towards Rolex, the Datejust is a natural choice, while Omega enthusiasts might opt for the Globemaster. Evaluating your collection and preferences will guide you to the watch that suits you best. Regardless of the choice, both watches offer exceptional quality. It's been a pleasure being here with you at Fenty Chic. Don't forget to show your support by liking and commenting on this video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you in our next video.